Welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today is a brand new series, High Performance Dailies. Here are the series reward cards. We have the BMW M2 from 2023 and the Lucid Air, I believe Sapphire. Uh, both of these are already in the game. They were already reward cards for previous series festival playlists. Let's jump into our summer festival playlist here. We have a brand new, new to the game, 2022 Ford Focus ST. Surprisingly, looks a lot like the Hyundai i30N right there, which the Hyundai i30N has already been in the game. So, so far, we have one new reward card, one new card of the game. The weekly challenge, we're going to be piloting the TTRS Coupe. The daily, own and drive any Type R. That's actually pretty cool. Let's jump in the shop here and see what we have going on. Of course, we have everything on this side of the wheel, on this side of the camera, but you guys may not. So pick up that stuff if you don't have it already, if you have the points. I am always flush with points. I have over 23,000. Got to spend them somewhere. I believe somebody told me you can buy multiples of those. So if you already own it, you can buy it again. But I'm just waiting for the stuff I don't have, if that ever happens. Looks like Horizon Arcade Minigames is going to be here for three points. I'll probably skip it, but it's up to you if you need them. The trial is going to be tomorrow's video. Let me click the right stick here. High performance dailies car restriction B700. I wonder if they made that a new category. That's actually pretty cool. Usually they show the reward car up front, which is the Jag. And then behind we have, I don't know, a Citroen, a Renault, a Lincoln Co., a V-Dub. I don't know. I'm not really sure what some of those cars are back there, but there you go. They're back to just two event labs, so I'm going to have to pick another event lab. I got pretty lucky last week picking the chemical plant, which was the event lab of the month on the Forza Horizon Let's Go video. So I'm hoping I can put a, another stout entry into the mix this week on Sunday. We have Mike Getz and Ragged33204. And the cool thing about Ragged that I remember, they had that really crazy ramen raceway, whatever it was called. And uh, this one is Super Twisted Noodle Circuit. And I saw a picture of it already. I'm really jazzed to get to play that one. On Saturday, we're going to have the PR Stunt Speed Run, where I play all five PR Stunts and try to see how fast we can get them completed. Two seasonal championships. We have a treasure hunt we will get to, as well as the photo challenge in this video. Horizon Open. Some new monthly rivals featuring all of the new cars for the entire series. Well, I don't know about the Lucid, but we have the Toyota TRD. We have the Dodge Durango uh, Hellcat, I believe. And then this is the Fiesta ST. Looks like the Focus ST could have been here, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. But without any further ado, let's get into the weekly challenge here. We need to... This one is called Up to Speed. The Everyday Sports Car Chapter 1. It's the German coupe that has roots in a famous motorcycle race and made its Beetle brother look bloated. The 2010 Audi TTRS coupe. Okay. So we're going to fly over to Audi 2010. That's a 2020. That's a 2018. 2015 wow we got to go way back there we go this one's only b700 so it's not going to be crazy but it'll get the trick done there we go chapter two trial of man this audi tt rs coupe's name is rooted in the isle of man tt get a flavor of that experience by earning two stars on the switchbacks speed zone okay switchbacks so first, I'm going to need to get rid of everything here except for the speed zones switchbacks. It's probably going to be asphalt. All right, so here it is. We have a seasonal PR stunt, but this one we're going to be using for just the weekly challenge. We need to get two stars, which is 75 miles per hour. I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to give myself a little bit of gravity, gravitational help. I'm going to bring this up on the rev limiter. We've got another guy trying it here. Right at the start of the festival playlist. Start of the season. Start of the series. Wow, okay. I was going a little fast. I'm getting amazing force feedback from the wheel right now. Usually I don't have that much. I have it set to a pretty low number. I don't want that to happen again. Can I get it done with the wheel? We are up over the average that we need. Dipping down here. Nah, we're still good. There we go. Out the back. Didn't get the seasonal championship. Incorrect car. Or the seasonal objective. Incorrect car. 
Which we knew that already. <laughs> what a jump. All right, there's chapter two. Chapter three, Rally Sport Engineering. So that's what the RS, RS stands for, Rally Sport. Didn't know that. Not an Audi or VW guy. Rally Sport Engineering gave it a little more. Whoa. For the Starka? Okay. Add to, <laughs> add to that horsepower by upgrading your 2010 Audi TT RS Coupe in to win any S1 class race event any so we hit a tree in the air that's always fun uh we're gonna slip over to manufacture i'm actually gonna jump i had an s1 2010 there it is okay so i'm gonna take this to ruta norte street race and i'm gonna be on the controller i'm not gonna race i'm not gonna race with the wheel that's ridiculous ruta norte here we go Make sure you tab over to your current car, if that's how you've done it. Or just pick the car you want. That thing looks so good. So sleek. Sitting so low. The tire is like almost clipping through the fender. <laughs> Ooh, nice. You get a Formula D. Formula D Supra racing against us. Oh, yeah, and we're next to a Ferrari. Cool. Almost out launching them. We'll get there. We'll get there, guys. Don't worry about it. See? See, everybody lays up. They don't have good... They don't give, have good handling like we do, you know? Also, we got a driver mod. There's a Runo. See you later. Oh, wow. I just... Heck. I curved that whole checkpoint. That whole flare. But it was kind of like the way the car reacted. There we go. Up to fourth. Smoking all four. This thing must have some power. Sounds like it has the racing three liter. I'm not real sure. Ooh, wow. What a move. I love when you can like squeak by them. Not make any contact. That one, that one we had some contact. It's okay. Whoa! He just pit maneuvered the whole Bronco, man. What's going on? Ooh. Are those both Porsches? I know the one was, the older one. Wasn't really sure about that dark blue one. But we don't have to worry about it anymore. We are gone. 2 Jay-Z power. I love that you can throw these in there. The racing 3 liter for some reason is always available in these Audis. So much fun. Such a crazy engine. You could just get an insane amount of power if you upgrade it all the way. I mean we're going almost 200 here. We were real close there and had to dial it back. There we go. 200. Wow. Absolutely flying. In that tiny car. So there's chapter 3. We've already had a PR stunt and an S1 race. Ooh, 175,000. What do you think this one's going to be something stupid? Paint your car... Take a photo, you know? Paint your photo. Chapter 4, a fun little car. It doesn't just look like a fun little car. It is a fun little car. Do some donuts. Oh, okay. Ultimate burnout skill. I like it when they give us some skills. At least we didn't have any paint your body or photo challenges here. So here we go. We are in the perfect one for this. We are going to do monster donuts. And there it is. I didn't even see the... There it is. Ultimate burnout. I didn't even see it. That's crazy. I love how that works out. All right. So we got five points already. Let's go on to own and drive any type R. Now, I wish they had the FL5 in the game. I'm really thinking about getting one. I am just not wanting to be in debt right now. I want to uh, you know, pay things off. So... <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, I look at it from time to time. I won't lie. Let's get in this FK8 Civic Type R. And I got in the front wheel drive variant. So we can do this. Hold on. We're going to let go. <laughs> Launch control is so stupid. It just goes right back to that. So no more front wheel drive burnouts. There we go. Okay, you got to let it go for a minute. All right, this is fun. We're doing some donuts in this one. I would never do that in one. <laughs> this is super fun. Okay, we got it. Typewriter, there you go. So now we've got six points. Moving on, we need to go over to the treasure hunt. Now, it looks like we've got a Volvo V70 in the air. This Volvo car is a star. If we blaze a trail, our treasure won't be far. Okay, so let's go to change your car. We'll go over here to Volvo. I'm going to grab this B700 V60. I misspoke with my numbers, but... This one has all-wheel drive and rally tires, and I'm, I'm going to resist the urge to do the easiest trailblazer in the game. You guys could go down here and do the one that is, uh, you know, about two feet long. That's a favorite of mine, but there's one over here that kind of goes under. Yeah, it's this one. Let's try this one. Should we also try it with the wheel? Hmm. All right, so B700, it's not very fast, but that's okay. I don't want it uncontrollable. I'm sure this car is very fast in real life compared to, you know, what I'm actually driving. And this is just in a video game. We were just going 200, so sense of speed is a little different. Now we're still going seventh gear, 100 and, well, we were going 122. This thing's pretty good, especially on the wheel. I'm keeping it pointed in the right direction, making a slight correction. Big correction. There we go. Okay. Treasure challenge. <laughs> Complete. We're going to get the clue, right? Oh, I didn't hit the button. Dang it. All right. Um, There it is. I see. I just happened to see it down here. Let's do that, and let's go near it. Okay. So we'll drive to it. We got the location. All we have to do now is bust through it. See, we could... I could hit that, but... Yeah, we already got it. I don't know why it didn't show up like right away. Just gonna cruise there. Sometimes they're off the beaten path. Maybe it's up there on the pyramid structure. Where is it? We've got to go up. Uh-oh, I took out a Tiki Torch. Can I see over there? Hold on. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That was weird. Oh, there we go. And it's up here, brother. <laughs> Trying to help people out. You know me. We got to get our challenges done. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. All right, so there we go. We got the treasure hunt done. That is awesome. Now, photo challenge. Take a photo of your character outside your car at the steps of the <laughs> at the steps to the university in Guanajuato. Okay, and that's going to get us the artist outfit. So, for Guanajuato, you know where it is. We're up here. Um right here it shows like a school icon. Let's go there. Let's travel around. We'll we'll get out. We'll take a picture. So, at the steps though, so it looks like we're not near it. I believe it was this way. I believe. Yeah, it looks like a school. Looks like a castle, but... Alright, so somewhere in here there's going to be steps. Yes, right here, right? Okay. So we're going to park up. We're going to go ahead and get into our photo mode. And I already have my guy sitting out, okay? But if, what you want to do, you need to hit Y for effects mode. You need to go all the way down to character position. And you're going to want to change it from the driver's seat. You need to actually come out for this one, all right? 
So then we're going to hit Y again, and then I'm going to hit RB. And there you go. There's our check marks, and we get the artist outfit. Amazing. Somebody else is here doing it. Good for them. And there you go. There is your first video of the week of this brand new series. I hope you guys had fun in Horizon Cars and Coffee. I thought that was a really neat idea. Had a cool place for us to go. Now we're on to the next one. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We're going to be checking out what this high performance dailies car restriction is all about. Even though it's only B700, it should be a fun trial. And then after that, of course, the PR stunt speed run on Saturday and the Event Lab showdown on Sunday. As always, stay tuned to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Later.